Hi everybody. Happy Wednesday evening to you. Um, first and foremost, before I start this video, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to all of my subscribers. I am very, very blessed for you um, joining my channel. Thank you to the new subscribers most recently and those who have been with me since the beginning. I am truly blessed that you follow my channel. I'm sorry I haven't been on. Um, I got a new laptop and um, I'm not sure. I think I might have to bring it back to the store even though I have stuff loaded on here um, because I keep getting weird static on the speakers and it doesn't happen all the time. So um, I'm afraid if I bring it there and it doesn't do it again, um, I'm not really sure what they can do about it. Anyways, sorry, I have something on my shirt. Um, anyways, I promised everyone on this channel that I would do a video. I have an actual video that I did on Urban Legends about werewolves. Uh, and I also wanted to do a video on uh, biologically accurate raw food plan for dogs. Um, for several people that I follow on a pug Facebook page, I promised I would do a video showing the process of my food prep that I do for both my dogs, Wednesday and Pugsley, specifically Pugsley um, because of his allergies and his um, soft palate, um, which overweight pugs get where they choke and the dangly thing, like kind of like people do when they snore. So many people go and end up getting surgery on it, which sometimes doesn't help or makes it worse. So I told a couple people that I would do a video on my food prep of what I do with the meats, the organ meat, and how much, if any, vegetables I give them, and what I do, because unfortunately, unlike most people that feed their dogs raw food plan, I can't always afford the um, certain foods, so... I wanted to talk a little bit about the energy that has been going on since about Friday. Um, I noticed that, and I am not a huge astrology person, I do know the astrology signs, when they are, and I know a little bit about astrology. I'm more a, I, what I know is what is within me, Much many people do teach themselves it um kind of like tarot they teach themselves i'm not a book taught person i'm a natural uh person that knows a lot of this stuff it's just ingrained in me so uh, anyways i noticed a lot of energy has shifted and changed i would say it started around thursday night friday so if you're one of these people that actually is having issues, and I'm going to name some of the things and then let you know what I noticed. So if you're noticing your vibration, meaning your energy, your demeanor, your positiveness is lower than usual, but you're aware of it to where you don't know why you're lower than you are, you don't know why your vibration is not high anymore. You don't know why you're feeling certain moods or emotions when you really don't have a reason to or don't feel that you have to. As well as a lack of appetite. Um, and what I mean by that is either no appetite at all or when you do get an appetite, you're very particular about the food that you eat, meaning you're... You know, like I am, I get bored with certain foods. So I'm just like, well, if I can't have what I want, then I won't eat at all. And so that's one of the ways I'd like to explain. I think I did it right. And then on top of that, the sleeping where you fall asleep a lot earlier than what you're used to and you're sleeping very solid like say three, four days in a row and then a couple of days of insomnia where you'll fall asleep for two hours, wake up, then fall asleep for two hours and wake up. So it's been a really weird roller coaster since about Thursday night. Now, one, I'm going to let you know if you are feeling this way, it's also bringing up very deep emotions in regards to your past. And what I'm going to say are the few things 
for those of you who can relate to this and who this is for that's watching this video this may not resonate with everyone but for those of you who are like me who are either cancer which is my sign born in June or their house I guess they say their house is in cancer or the moon's in cancer I'm you know I like I said I'm not an astrology person but those of you who this resonates with this will resonate with people who have sexual abuse in their child book childhood or their teenage years so it's going to bring up a lot of um, innocence from when you were a child or a young adult to shame and then for those of you and this is very raw for me to share with those of you who are borderline hoarders, meaning not like hoarders on TV, because I feel people are very ignorant about that show. Hoarders as in somewhere along the way of your pain and your abandonment issues and your dysfunctional life. Somewhere along the way in adulthood, because of tragic and traumatic events, and what I mean is those of you who are watching this, it's not just one. You've had countless traumatic events in your life. It's digging up all of that memory and energy that you've dealt with, but the deepness of it you haven't. And so even though you felt that you brought it to the surface and worked on it, like me and myself, with what happened to me in my childhood, 